Coronation Street air dark scenes showing David Platt being sexually assaulted by mechanic Josh Tucker. However some viewers found the scenes too difficult to watch and switched off over the scenes. One tweeted, I've not watched Hash Coy tonight, this David Platt storyline is too much hash no thanks. While another commented, literally feel so sick after watching Coy, have to put the TV on mute and look away. A third remarked, this is bloody horrendous I think I'm going to have to switch it off Hash Coy. One remarked, too much. FFS hash koi getting worse. There were many other viewers, on the other hand, who praised the soap for highlighting such a taboo subject. One tweeted, Bravo to all that added of koi for tackling such a taboo subject, male rape, with such delicacy. Brilliantly acted by a Jack Shepard 88 and a 92. I can see this being a help to many. Hash koi. While another commented, this is a massively important storyline that needs to be told. 12,000 men a year are raped, and male rape is still such a taboo subject for so many. Putting it into mainstream TV helps create a space to talk about it. Katots is great for taking a chance on it. Hash Koi A Koi spokesperson told Mirror TV. Coronation Street has a long and successful history of tackling serious and thought-provoking issues alongside the balance of drama, romance and comedy that the soap is famous for. We are mindful of our transmission time and therefore the attack was implied rather than explicit, there was also a warning issued before the episode and a helpline number at the end. Subsequent episodes will focus on David's mental health as he keeps what has happened to him a secret and struggles to come to terms with the attack. Tonight, Josh was seen plying David with alcohol before slipping GHB into his drink. The sociopathic mechanic then led him to his house and began to sexually assault a paralytic David on the sofa. Horrifying scenes showed David trying to move away, despite his drugged state, and attempting to say no. Josh was seen grinning and then led a barely conscious David to his bedroom. After throwing him on the bed, the mechanic smirked down at him. Grinning manically, he said, lights on tonight, I reckon. He then pulled off his belt and slammed the door shut. Rather than seeing the actual rape, viewers will instead watch David wake up in Josh's bed on Monday as he remembers what has been done to him. In a recent interview Jack who has played David over the last 18 years, opened up about the effect the scenes had had on him. Speaking about how difficult it was to get into David's headspace following what had happened, he said, this is potentially one of the darkest places David has been in. He was obviously massively affected by Kylie's death, but everyone knew about that and were looking out for him and even though he didn't really want to talk about it in depth it wasn't a secret. This time it's just all in his head, he has no outlet, he doesn't speak to anyone and the only other person who knows is his attacker and he's enjoying winding David up and having power over him. David is tormented and the viewer needs to see that, so for David to break down it needs to feel real and not forced. It's very emotional and after one scene I couldn't stop crying. Coronation Street returns on Monday at 7.30pm and 8.30pm on ITV.